Good afternoon, Money.net Live, rolling right along. Of course, we all know who he is, the awesome Mike Short from Prosper Trading. How are you, Mike? I'm feeling a little bit better. <laughs> Yesterday was uh, nothing to talk about, nothing to talk about today, right? Nothing. I mean, well, I mean, we're just a little bit lower, right? No big deal. I mean, uh, you know, tell me a little bit about Powell. What were you thinking when he, when he was talking yesterday? What were you looking for? What did he say? What did he didn't say that you were looking for? You know, I, I, I was, you know, I was screaming at the screen all afternoon that, you know, I, I thought that we would have the relief rally that he would, and, you know, his comments or his lack of comments were probably a little more dovish than, you, you know, but it looks like they were just pricing in worst case scenario that, you know, hey, you know, we were really close to going 75 and we probably have 75 in us for the next one. You know, but he didn't say that, uh, you know, I mean, he, he kind of took the 75 off the table. But I mean, that it's still a possibility, but um, I don't think that they're, you know, I don't really think that they're going to do that. But and so I didn't understand the rally yesterday. It was, you know, there was a couple of times where. Well, one, I don't know if you if you were active in the markets then, you know, I don't know if I've seen Q bid ass that wide, even when we were going down hard. I mean, right. they, these Qs were like 25 cents wide in the options, which, you know, right now, you That's know, a lot. moving up, these are three cents wide. You right. know, I mean, it was 10x. And we're seeing the VIX drop in here, 2570 on the VXX. Oh, yeah. so. <laughs> VIX is at 3024, up 19%. But we are seeing a little bit of a pullback off of that. So I know you're long the queues right here. Yeah, I agree. I got long. Oh, man, they just took out my highs, too. There you go. Live um, trading right here in front of everybody, right? You went long the queues. So here, do you want me to share my screen? Yeah, man. Let's see what you're doing. Not that we're not totally excited to watch you, but so. <laughs> So a couple of things. So this yellow line that I have here, this is yesterday's lows. Okay. Okay. So that's, you know, trying to give you, a, you know, usually what I'm, I'm, I'm running just a day. So it, it includes the overnight, but um, uh, hang on. I got to tighten up my trail stop here. Uh, I'm going to Yeah, man. Do what you got to uh, do. And I am, I am watching the NASDAQ pushing back to the 200 day. I mean, this is good stuff, man. I mean, uh, I think this is overblown yesterday, and I think it's overblown today. And yes. um, But I believe in the day and a half rule, right? Uh, after Powell was done speaking, let the rest of the day blow out. I believe in waiting the rest of the day uh, to today and then making our moves on Friday. Um, I am I am looking to buy Amazon here. I think Amazon's just been beaten to hell. I, I don't get it. Um, I got long Facebook earlier. Uh all right, good. I was taking a little bit of heat on that. Uh, I bought Facebook down at the uh, towards the lows. I I just so yeah. Um, so you know, so they took. So I drew this on here because you know this has been a, a a big indicator of just in this stuff where you know who knows what the heck is happening. Um, you know, having yesterday's range on there. At least you know that. Well, you know we're we're at least more or less insane than we were the day before, um, and uh, so you know take it. I, I did not. You know I saw a pullback coming. I did not see the five percent pullback in queues, uh, and then so you can see that you know we we broke through that, but that really you know that was kind of your line of defense. Uh, th this is yesterday's low in the spy too. Well, who's so, buying and who's selling here, Mike? I mean, th this kind of move isn't by retailers, right? This is big money here. Yeah, um, you don't you can't dump. They can't dump this kind of money because there are some bids still out there, not not much. But we talked about it in the last session with um, my last guest. Uh, how much money is actually sitting on the sidelines? What kind of percent? You know, in all the asset classes, whether that be commodities, gold, or whatever. The dollar's actually been the best asset class. Just keep, yeah, just keep buying that. And you're like, uh, um, yeah. So, yeah, go ahead, man. No, it, it was, uh, so we're, we are seeing that kind of, that lunchtime reversal. I don't know what it is, but, you know, a, a nice rule of thumb is, you know, when the lunch, the Chicago lunch rolls around, so you're an hour into the New York lunch. Usually, right. I, I don't know if it's the day traders or the, the junior traders that take over and the big guys say, you know what, um, you know, 
take this back the other way so I can do what I was doing when I get back to lunch and not have to take heat on selling everything that I'll just so that that was another reason why I got long queues there just timing wise and we'd have something to talk about but yeah, uh, yeah it just got I long. mean it's not a, it's not a two finger lunch anymore now it's a three finger lunch yeah <laughs> Or yeah, just or just don't bother coming back. Um, <laughs> I'm too long at Harry's right now. Let me leave you yeah. alone. Um, you know, the advanced decline line for me has been really scary here. Uh, we're down seven thousand on the advanced decline line, and yeah. but the ticket's pushing higher here, up eleven hundred here on the tick. So there is some buying down here, heavy buying. Yeah, you know what was strong and, and to watch was AMD. AMD yeah. when everything else was pulling back to yesterday's lows, AMD was holding like a champ. And, you know, that was kind of giving me, you know, because this whole kind of, I don't want to say the whole move down, but, you know, the chips have been, let's just say, well out of favor. And we've had good earnings come out of QCOM, AMD, ON had decent earnings. And, you know, and so when, when kind of, you know, the, you know, the ugly person in the group stops being, stops being the ugliest person. Maybe it's time for this thing to turn around. Uh, I, you know, I'm not just full on risk on here, but you made uh, a very good point, you know, but one of the things that I, I listened to, uh, whether they had good earnings or bad earnings was forward guidance. Right. And I thought uh, Lisa Sue's forward guidance was very bullish. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the new, you Really, earnings haven't been all that bad. I mean, obviously, Facebook did really, really well. Amazon, you know, part of that was Rivian, and and they're yeah. you know they they are a you know they move physical products right and physical products that need to be made, transported, packaged up here and retransported. That's going to okay. have a supply chain issue, right? So, like a FedEx kind of is that what you're saying about FedEx? Yeah, FedEx and well, and Amazon too. You know that mm-hmm. you know Amazon they they have a that is you know they have to physically move stuff. I mean the 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 chip makers do too, but not nearly to the extent. You know, once they get those things out of the door, they're kind of done with them. And you're only seeing FedEx down one point three six percent when yeah. the you know, the whole Dow is down almost two and a half more than that, yeah. right? So yeah, you are seeing some stocks holding up. I think people are moving into those. I think you're dead dead on right there. Um, but the uh, risk off today was in the crypto markets. It was, uh, yeah. Oh, shop is shop is down thirteen um, percent. Shopify was down eighteen percent earlier. So it, look, uh, it, oh, it's bullish now. Look, there there is some buying opportunities in here, right? Oh, there definitely is. You know, uh, and you know, don't try and be a hero with this, but you know, you get Amazon and Facebook and Apple down at these levels. I mean, Apple still is below the 200. It stopped there pretty well early on in the day and then just got sucked down with everything. That's always a good one to look at. If you're, if you're trading cues, just kind of Apple and Facebook obviously are big components of both the big major indices, cues and spies I'm talking about. But, you know, they are definitely leading indicators. Uh, and, and Facebook is when it's moving like that, you're not going to get three cent wide markets. You're lucky if you get five or 10. So if you're looking for that liquidity, then obviously Q's is a, is a great place to go for that. So you can kind of synthetically trade Apple and Facebook. Apple's going to be really tight too. But also when you get this late in the week, I don't know if you're trading weekly options, but I hate trading options that are less than a dollar because the way that I run risk, I, then I have a 10 cent trail stop on this thing because right, right, I'm, right, I'm running 10% risk. If I'm doing less allocation, I'll run 15. I mean, Mike, I'm a degenerate Q trader. I'll, I'll trade. Uh, I'll trade the dailies. I'll trade tomorrow's. Oh yeah, I I will. But you know, I, I do have. If it were just me, I would. But I, I remember I have you know hundreds of people in my room that right. I, I, just, I can't gotta learn that risk reward. And I, the same I, way that I couldn't get on puts just because hey we're going down. You know, I I have to not you know. Just because, oh, you know, my spidey sense is tingling, that that's really hard to rationalize when you're trying to teach somebody, you know, where, you know, I, you know, my spidey sense that I call it, that that is the summation of 25 plus years in this business where, you know, I can't exactly tell you why it's going up or down, but it is. And so, okay, so we just had a, our previous guest. What catalyst would it be for you to make you feel better about this market? What do you want to see or hear that takes money off the sidelines and you want to go bullish? 
I mean, you know, t- tomorrow's job report that mm. helps. Um, I really don't see all. Uh, um, you know, and I'm not looking at, at the, at the job I'm looking at wages. You know, if we see okay. wages trending in the correct direction, meaning up, but not crazy, because yeah. you know, that that's the big problem here. It's not necessarily the inflation. I mean, this is, it's high inflation, but not crazy. But the thing is, you're never going to see a parallel shift with weight. You know, that's always going to be a lagging indicator. And right? you're seeing so, a lot of people leaving their companies for, for wages, going to other companies. Yeah. Um, right. Um, but at some point, that's got to stop, right? I mean, just uh, when the money's too far out and somebody asks for too much money, um, you know, you're starting to bleed, right? The company. So the, yeah. the margins start to get a little, because labor is your biggest expense of any company. Of so yeah, I can, I understand that. All right. So, um, and uh, it's, it's a sticky expense. You can't, you can't give somebody a raise and say, well, you didn't do, you know, you only did as well as you did last year. So now we're going to cut your pay this year. It doesn't work that way. Right. And so that's why it's always this kind of, well, just push, you know, that because those you're just, they're like they're like trailing stops, right? You start somebody at fifty thousand dollars a year, and then they go up to fifty five and sixty. You can't say, well, you know, this year wasn't as good. We're going to knock you down to fifty. It doesn't work that way. You have to. They either have to leave or you have to fire them, which is you know right. the reality of business. Um, if it just becomes too expensive to have them, just say, well, then we'll reset with somebody else, and hopefully we don't lose a lot in productivity from the new person. And that is true. You know, when you do lose someone, productivity goes down and you are seeing those numbers, productivity numbers uh, got slapped uh, last quarter. So last yeah. Quarter, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's look at that. Uh, gold now at 1877 and uh, 93 now an ounce. It briefly got above the 1900 handle. So money's not really going into gold. No, and that, that's that's an interesting one. Uh, you know, Cause that, that's kind of your, your, uh, you know, I have to put up GLD here. I don't have futures on this. Yeah, let's do here. it. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, this is not the normal thing would be, OK, well, we're, we're inflationary. Money is flowing out of stocks where it, it's got to go somewhere. Right. I mean, even in the very, very short term. So we're seeing it. But look, at we're, we're we didn't see a We saw a little bit of a ra- we saw a rally yesterday as stocks went up to close nearly on their highs. They gap up today because we're kind of down and now they just sold it again. I, you know, so, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm certainly more of a buyer than a seller of gold here. And I don't really understand these disconnects, but that's an interesting one in TLT. I always know when to sell gold. That's when I see commercials on CNBC saying <laughs> the best time to buy gold is now. No, that's the worst time. Thank you very much. You right. Here, right. Yeah. I'm um, just seeing on CNBC right now that the dollar index is on track for the fresh 20 year high close. I mean, that's what we've been talking about, right? The dollar, the Dixie has been very, very strong. And at some point they've got to come back, right? I mean, the dollar can't keep going up here. No one's going to come visit the United States. No, they're not. <laughs> but where else are you going to go with your money? Can't go to Europe. It's true. Obviously, but yeah, I mean, I'm, the euro, the euro is pretty cheap right now. The, the, the pound is oh, it's certainly right cheap. Now. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's cheap. No, I mean, we're for with your your investing money, you know. The, I, and right now, I feel like I'm having a margarita uh, in Mexico because <laughs> the pound to uh, the dollar to the peso is back over twenty one or two, right? So beautiful, you know. Uh, there might be some moves here. I think that you're right. I think the vacation spots are also hot too, like well, Caribbean and Disney. Um, I know for a fact that those places are busy as hell. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have a lot of pent up demand, and people are like. And, and you have a strong dollar. So that's fantastic for somebody who's traveling. All right, uh, Mike, thanks. I know you're busy today. You got lots of trades going on. It's a very busy day and I don't want to hold you up here, but I will definitely look forward to seeing you next week, right? All right, I will be here. Thanks a lot. See you, Mike. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.